Y'all subscribe to Ankit Sharma TV? TV. Yeah, for sure. What do you think about the channel? I love it. The AI tutorials are super clear. You recommend others subscribe? Absolutely. The best place to learn AI. What makes it stand out? He makes complex stuff easy to get. Any message for people who have... OpenAI released Sora 2 and internet went crazy, basically turning everyone into a meme machine. But right now, it is an invite-only platform which can only be accessed in USA and Canada. But there are ways by which you can access Sora 2 no matter where you live. And that's what we are going to cover in this video because I'm in India and I have Sora 2 access and I've created a bunch of videos that I will show in a few minutes. And not just that, in between this video, I will share my invite code on the screen. So make sure you watch the complete video and my invite code can add at least two people to Sora 2. So I just wanted to share my code so that I can help two of you. So if you want to get invited, make sure you watch the complete video and keep an eye on the code that will flash on the screen during this video. So let's talk Talk about the elephant in the room, how you can access Sora 2 when you are not in US or Canada. And the simple answer is get a VPN. Here I am on my computer and this is OpenAI Sora landing page. And right now I am using Surfshark to get my VPN and this one is a premium account. Being in India, this is the best way I can find to get a VPN which can connect to US or Canada. And you can also use those free VPNs that are available as Chrome extension. You will be able to create your account, but there are certain limitations with these free VPNs. So I will leave this choice up to you. I'm personally using Surfshark, so I will add a link in the video description below if in case you are interested to check it out. Now once I have installed Surfshark VPN, all I need to do is just click on quick connect to connect a US based VPN server. Now once your VPN is active and running, here is how you can create a new account on Sora 2. So all you need to do is go to sora.chatgpt.com and here on the top you have an option for login. And once you click on this, you get two options, login or sign up for free. If you don't have any chat GPT or open AI account, you can go ahead and create one. So I'm just going to sign up for free to create a new account. And then I'm just going to use my Gmail address to create my account. So I'm just going to use continue with Google. And after that, you just need to fill up your basic details like name and birthday and then click on continue. And on the next screen, it's going to ask you to enter a username that you want to create for Sora 2. So go ahead and enter a unique username for yourself. And now you will be asked to enter an invite code. So you need to click on invite code here and then enter the invite code that you have. And once you enter the invite code, it's just going to load the explore page of Sora 2. And here is a welcome message. So now you have successfully created an account on Sora 2. Now, as I can only invite two of you, you can go ahead and use it as soon as possible. And if it works for you, then do let me know in the comment section below. But if it doesn't, then don't worry. There are other ways to get an invite code. Now, this is how I got my invite code. I just went to Twitter and I just searched for Sora invite and you will find people sharing their invite codes in tweets or maybe asking for a DM, something like that. But there were some good people as well. They were just posting the invite code in the tweet itself. So that's how I got my invite code within just 15 to 20 minutes of spending time. So I'm sure you can try that. Along with that, there are other Discord servers of OpenAI and Sora itself that you can join and people are continuously sharing their uh, referral codes there. But one thing that you need to make sure is never ever pay for the invite code of Sora 2. There is a lot of scam going on right now. So make sure you do not waste your money on it and just let it be and just give it some time. You will get the invite code. Along with that, when you are on these websites like Twitter or Discord server where you're just searching for the invite code, make sure you keep the window open where you need to enter the invite code in Sora 2 because as soon as you see one, just go ahead and try it out. And that you can only do once you have two windows open side by side. So as soon as you see an invite code, just head over to the next window, copy paste and see if it works or not because these referral codes are getting used so fast, so you need to act fast. Now, if you already have an invite code or if you are the one who created your account using my invite code, I would request you to share your invite code in the comment section below so that it can help others as well. Now, here is another important point. Once you get your account created, 
make sure you use your referral code to create an another account for yourself. Now by this, you will be able to get more referral codes, but don't spam this method because you will be cached up by the algorithm and your account will get blocked. The reason I am suggesting you to create another account is because in the initial phase, I have seen that you are using an account and after some time it just stops working. So let me show you what happened with my account. So here you can see I was entering the prompt and as soon as I hit enter, there is some random error showing up with some error code. I tried to contact the chat support of a open AI. It was a bot who is answering the, all the questions, but it was just telling me that they have no clue about it. So. I'm not sure if you or someone that you know facing the same issue, do let me know in the comment section below. But this just happened with my account. I am not able to create new videos and I was not actually spamming it. I just created four videos and it was pretty text to uh, video that I was just trying to create. And somehow I got this error message whenever I try to create a new video. So I'm not sure if that get fixed later on, but right now, you need to make sure that as soon as you get your account, make sure you use the first code for yourself, maybe for your family member or anyone else, or maybe another email ID of yourself. Make sure you have a backup account. So coming back to your account. Now, once you have registered on Sora 2, this is your homepage or the explore page where you see all these crazy memes that are available here. You can go ahead and like them. You can go ahead and give a comment on it and you can also remix them which is interesting now you can click on this remix icon and you can recreate this video using a prompt or you can ask for any changes that you want to add in this video and that will be done in just a few seconds now open ai with sora 2 not just created a platform where you can create ai videos they actually created a tiktok like social media app where all of this content is ai generated so this is a completely new thing that people are going to experience that everything that you see on this website or on this app or in this platform is all fake ai and that of course has two sides of it one is good and one is pure evil because right now you can see there are various videos which are looking very clearly copyrighted content because there are a lot of spongebobs magdies and all the other reputed faces and brand copyrighted items that are getting generated using these videos so i'm not sure how they're going to get away with this but yes this is happening right now and i'm not sure how it goes another thing is the way it's taking the shape for usability of ai now till now we know the ai is getting used for various productivity making things easier fast and productive things but now new generations especially gen z's and maybe later on they will experience ai as a social media platform and this is not so good in one sense instead of getting productive instead of getting better using ai you are getting a new system where you're going to consume content there will be a whole new category of getting brain rot content so this is just one of the major concern i have with this as a social media platform now apart from these crazy memes you can definitely use to this platform to create some videos for your business now there are some uh, restrictions that you will get this ugly Sora logo flashing on your video and the video that you will download from the platform is not a high-end uh, commercial project ready resolution maybe that will come later on with their pro version which is not a situation right now so here is how you generate videos using sora 2 all you need to do is just go to this description box or the prompt box and just type in whatever video you want to create now you can go ahead and create your own cameo or your own ai avatar which is only available for us iphone users or the ios users so i don't have one right now but i'm trying to figure out a way if you want to create a text to video all you need to do is just enter a prompt here and then just choose your orientation portrait or landscape and just hit enter from here and it will take a few minutes and your video will be generated now if i go ahead and check out my profile 
this is my uh, profile page and here I have just generated these videos by just typing a single liner text prompt. So as a web designer, I use Divi and here are some interview style video that I created for that page builder and it turned out pretty good. And again, you can also use characters like SpongeBob by just typing in the prompt, which is again, uh, I'm not sure how they are able to do that because this is a copyrighted content and you can just generate that using a text prompt. So I'm not sure how long it's going to stay here, but right now people are using these copyrighted cartoons like anything. And along with that, you can also upload images for creating videos, but that is something you need to be very careful because there are times that you won't be able to generate a video. Here is a case where I just tried to give a text prompt. I just, I didn't even upload an image and it said, no, we cannot generate this video. And I'm not sure why it happened. And I'm not sure what exactly they found problematic in this text prompt, but they said, no, we will not generate that. But you can go ahead and upload your product images or maybe any image which does not have a human face. I think it can work pretty well on the platform. At least for now, it's working well. Maybe in future, they will open the things that people will be able to add faces. So let me show you what videos I have generated and how I have generated using this image upload option. So here are some of the examples that I have generated. Now, again, for this one, I have used text to video. So let me show you how it looks. After 140 million miles, it finally lands because some tastes belong everywhere. Coca-Cola, taste worth the trip. So I just gave a simple text prompt to generate a CGI style ad for Coke getting delivered to Mars and this video we got and it's pretty dang good. I mean, as far as we consider that it got generated using a single text prompt, it's pretty good. Now, another example is using a product image. Now, this one is going to be really useful if you are a small business. Sun-kissed elegance, effortless days, coastal breeze, evening glow, one dress, endless moments, the lemon bloom dress. I just use a product image. I just uh, downloaded from internet and uploaded it in the text prompt and give this single line prompt. And it looks pretty dang good for a small business to post on social media. Same case here. I just uploaded this watch image and give it a single liner prompt here to generate an Apple style uh, ad, ad for this product. And it did a pretty good job there. I mean, I can refine my prompt for saying, do not mention any text on the screen, something like that. And still it looks perfectly fine. I mean, people can definitely use them if not on some high end production ad, but you can definitely post these on your different social media platforms to promote your product. And the quality is pretty good for considering it just going to be shared on the internet. Now, here is another example where I created this perfume uh, advertisement. I just gave a text prompt for this one. There was no reference image and just give a text prompt for creating a luxury uh, perfume advertisement. And this one was landscape. And it again turned out pretty well. I mean, just need to refine my prompt a little bit and we can make it surely better. But for sure, this uh, watermark looks very ugly, but I'm considering that they are going to remove this if you have a pro account. I'm sure they will be rolling out the pro plan very soon. Now here is the part which is actually attracting a lot of people. They are calling it Cameo, but at its core, it's deep fake. So you are going to upload your image here. It's going to ask your permission, going to ask you to record a video, say a number on the screen. And that's how they will register your face to create all these cameos or deep fakes. But this is only available for iOS users and only in US and I think on in Canada as well. But if you are not in US or Canada and you want to do that, you again need few things. So one is mandatory, that is VPN. You need to have a VPN so that you can connect to a US location. Then second, you need to change your Apple ID location. You just need to visit your Apple account and there you can change your location from anywhere to US. And then you can also enter a fake address 
and then for the payment options you can select none and once that is done using iphone you can go ahead and create these cameos or deep fakes but that is something very risky to do if you are not in us and you change your location to us then anything that you have subscribed from the apple store will get cancelled along with that it's also going to affect the apps that you are going to see in future when you are going to search the app store because again you are going to see the apps based on your location only so you need to make sure that what are you doing is going to affect so let me know what are your thoughts about Sora 2 and you can use my code to get your account and if it helps then do let me know in the comment section below and if it doesn't then make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll try my best to post other referral codes on my stories and you can also visit the platforms that I have mentioned to get your referral code. In the next video I'll try my best to find a way by which you can create these AI avatars using your phone and not staying in US. So we'll talk about that. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.